All right, welcome back to Dream Talk. I'm Brian Ladd um, with my co-host, Debra. Today is Tuesday, November 3rd, 2009, uh, 9.46 p.m. Um, I have on the phone tonight Debra and Gail St. John. You guys there? I'm here. Hi, Gail. Debra? Hi, nice too. Okay, fine. And, and again tonight, guys, uh, I'm using this phone here for the audio, so the audio is probably going to suck again, um, but we're, we'll, I'll try my best to so you can hear everybody. Um, tonight's show is going to be kind of quick. We only have one case. Um, we do have some uh, uh, news information that Deborah was going to bring up. Um, this has to do with a serial killer. Um, but before we get started, how's everybody doing tonight? I'm doing great. And you, Deborah? I'm doing wonderful. How are you doing tonight? I'm fine. Sorry. Sorry. I, I know you were here for the show last night. Um, uh, uh, you just got in a little late. I should have waited on you. Um, show really did suck last night. Um, I am not. I wasn't prepared to to read the, the case information and stuff. So I did. I did my best, and um, you know, audio issues and everything else. Um, but I did go on eBay last night. And I bid on a uh, one of these professional mics, um, but unfortunately, somebody outbid me. I got another bid on, in on again. As long as Gail does now bid me, hopefully, I might get a microphone uh, that'd be a little better than what we're using right now. I'll, I'll do my best. To <laughs> so you did that. <laughs> That mic was so cool, everyone. It, it looks just I like Larry a King. Of it. Ryan showed it to me, and um, it was one of those professional type mics, and it was going to be. And here's Brian, just like Johnny Carson, you know, because it looked a lot like that. It, it was like cool. we would have sounded awesome through that mic. Yeah, it was uh, um, like three it, list price of like three hundred dollars, and it started. It was like twenty dollars or whatever, and and I bid on it, and all of a sudden it says you've been outbid, and I did it like six or seven times, and I gave up at sixty five dollars. Um, and I looked at, I looked, I think it finally sold for 120. Uh, but there's another one that I found that's similar to that, and I, and I put a bid for 20 dollars in it, and I'm still the only bidder, and it closes in four days. So don't, please don't outbid me, Gail. Um, you know, Brian, <laughs> I can't guarantee that because I like to wait till the last minute. <laughs> we know, um, Gail. How are things going? Um, I, I know your work. We got you got a manager now, and um, well, I'm working on that TV show, uh, which is uh, going to be called ESPI. Um, and once again, what does that acronym say? Extreme? Extreme Search Psychic Investigators. Okay. And, and, and again, if you want more information, you can go to www.espi.tv. Um, there will be some more stuff coming up there. Uh, so. so that's good. I'm glad to hear that, Gail. Um, uh, that's for our, our entire team. And also I want to mention we will be um, – uh, doing an intro on the team December 5th in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Okay. And will I be there too? You will be there. <laughs> you are part of the team. The entire team will be there. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll be there um, the 5th and the 6th. Okay. That's great and to hear. we all have to come. Um, and okay. we'll actually, actually be there with um, uh, the um, TAPS group, um, mm -hmm. Ghost Hunters, and... Um, Oh, also, uh, Ryan from Paranormal State will be there with him. Okay. So, uh, I think it's Ryan. There's another one there also from Paranormal State. There'll be several of them from uh, 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 the Paranormal State TV show, and um, we'll be there with all them. Chip Coffee may be there all as well. Okay. Now, I, I, I've seen you and you and Chip did that uh, Psychic Kids together. I saw you on at least one episode of Psychic Kids on A&E. Right. Which I thought was a great show. That was canceled, though, wasn't it? No, no, they're doing more more episodes. Uh, oh, okay. So it's 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 up and going, and uh, I think they're in what their third season. I don't know. So, I thought they were canceled. Yeah. No. Now my and, wife watches uh, my wife watches Ghost Hunter stuff. She she likes that stuff. Um, actually, well, we're gonna be with we're gonna be with them. <laughs> okay, I'll get her some autographs or something like that. Right, and uh, we'll be there. Uh, there's quite a few uh, people there that that have you know their have their own TV shows, so we'll be there with them. Oh. And Ryan, um, they're actually got some big plans for you, Brian. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> so you're going to be doing uh, the hospital uh, episode, which is, uh, uh, they say it's a haunted hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, doctors will be there who actually uh, work at the hospital. And oh, um, you're going to be doing some uh, dream drawings on it. And uh, Travis, Reggie, and myself, and Tamara will be doing what we do. Okay. Uh, um, Sass, I, I'm monitoring the chat room too. Sass would like to know um, she could come to Tennessee with you. Um, if she wants to, to see us there, she's more than welcome. There is information about it 
uh, at www.nightmanagement.com. It talks about the upcoming December 5th um, thing that's going on. So if you look at their schedule, it'll tell you all about it. Okay. Cool. And that's nightmanagement.com. And I think I have a link. I think there's a link on your website to Net Night Management. If, right. if there's not, I'll put it up there for you. Right. And they should be showing um, uh, us on there soon. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Hawaii. So okay. that we're going to be there. So um, I'm pretty excited about it. It's not about missing persons, but we're going to be there talking about missing persons. We'll also be going through uh, the hospital. Just a little extra, you know, enjoyment for us while we're there. We're there with the paranormal and the ghost hunters. So we're going to, we're going to go on a little adventure and uh, do some of the stuff that they do. Okay, sounds good. you know, have an enjoyable time while we're there as well. Uh, sounds fun. But we will be handing out pamphlets talking about missing persons and some of the cases that we're on. Hey, Deborah, speaking of pamphlets, uh, I think the first mailing went out for Aji Desir. Um, remember, 70, there's going to be, I think, the 75 million pamphlets are being mailed out uh, to homes across the, the United States starting, I think it started today. Today's the third. Yeah, and I'm going to have Deb help us out here, too, with uh, getting some pamphlets ready to uh, hand out over there with the different cases and different missing ones that we need to uh, get out there to the public. Cool. Deborah, is that, I think okay. they said the third, I'm right? I'm happy to help you yeah. Did yeah, that's a great. It's a great opportunity for us to get their faces out there. Even definitely, more. definitely. Um, and this this wiki wheel tour. When is that? Was the date on that moved? Um, wasn't there? Is that the same thing as the Clementine? I do, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's the Clementine dance wiki wheel tour. That yes. was tonight for Jesse, wasn't it? Um, I don't know. I really don't. I just I just finished watching uh, Glenn Dean's new video she made up for Jesse. Uh, and it's like a collage of all the news reports that have been out on her uh, since she went missing. I mean, it's really, really well done. I put a link to it um, uh, in, on my site. I'm actually going to put a link to it on the Find the Find Jesse website. I'm actually going to embed the video on it because it's, it's like eight minutes long. It's really, really good. Um, and it, it includes clips with Geraldo Rivera when he talks about her. And uh, there, there, There's a lot of work that Glenn Dean's done to actually help promote missing people. She's done a, an awful lot of work. And she says that she does... One thing a day for Jesse. Every day she does something for Jesse. So let's, I'm hope, hope well, I'm going to say, yep. you know, we can hand out posters, too, for Jesse, because you never know where a person's going to turn up sure. or who might recognize them, and that's important. Definitely. And um, I also wanted to say, you know, I believe if anyone, I did have some people email me about this. If anyone wants to, um, uh, like, say, Doug gets the, the posters made up, or, you know, for, to print out, mm -hmm. um, Doug, if you're able to do that, and someone wants to actually donate, uh, you know, uh, and send them to us. Uh, they can afford to print out a couple hundred or whatever they can print out. We'd be more than happy. And, and there's another thing too that that is, as far as I know, if you want a, a picture of a missing per one of these missing flowers, if you wanted those, if you wanted those printed out, you can actually go to Kinko's or Staples, I believe now, and they'll print so many for you for free. As far as I know, right. they all still do that. And if they don't, ask the manager why not. Um, but I think that they all have a policy you now that they will do, they will do printing for free. Um, you know, not right, all and if anyone help, wants to help us out, Deb, if you'd be willing to have you know people get in contact with you and um, are willing to help out with this project, I appreciate it. I'm sure, you know I'll help. Many, yeah. I'd love to take that opportunity to get as many uh, pictures out of, of missing persons as we can. I have one condition. Uh -oh. I will only yeah. help as long as Aji is featured. Yeah, we'll oh, absolutely. Anji will be featured. Because this is, you know, we okay. don't know where Anji is. We don't know where any of these people are, and it's really important. Um, I was going to try to see if I could get a poster of Anji to put up. So it's, a, you know, 10 by 13, something like that, or, or larger, if we can get that made and taken with us with the website on it. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, as far as I know, we don't have any posters yeah, with, with findaji.com on it. But well, and that's something we have to, we're going to have to do. I mean, these are things we're going to have to make up, and we have, uh, you know, till, till we leave on December 5th to get all this stuff taken.